This is the Ruffier PVA-80. This is a facelift of the previous Ruffier. And today, I'm going to review it. Starting with the exterior styling, the Ruffier PVA-80 looks mostly similar to the PVA-70. Yes, there's a few extra skirts here and there, but on the exterior, it looks mostly the same. However, they have listened. When it comes to the door chimes, they've been silenced, which means I'm not scared every time I open the door. Additionally, this is now running iConnect 1.3 with new gauges. It has a gradient on the iConnect home screen and on the gauges. The tachometer ring will turn blue when EV mode is on, and it has a new chime. Let's go ahead and hop inside. When you first get in the PVA-80, you certainly notice that, although similar, iConnect 1.3 looks a lot better than it previously did. For one, the vehicle looks significantly better. So, if I go ahead and start the vehicle, I'm just going to let you listen. It should be noted that the Ruffier PVA-80 also has a V12. Of course, it is a hybrid, so like previously, you can put it into hybrid mode, which turns tachometer ring blue. And of course, it still has pretty good acceleration in hybrid mode. Let's go ahead and put it into engine mode. The A-Series comes in different versions. This is currently the V12 version, as said before. And prices will range from 200 all the way up to 500 Robux, depending on specs and options. Let's take this Ruffier on a test drive. First, we'll test its performance by initiating Sport Plus and starting Launch Control. With its 0 to 60 in the lower twos, this vehicle is very quick and certainly feels responsive. It should be noted, however, that the vehicle seems to want to accelerate significantly better when in sport compared to comfort. In comfort, I will floor it 0 to 60. takes almost 6 seconds, and keep in mind this is in EV mode, so, diff so it may be a bit different for you when using the engine. However, if I put it into Sport, not going to use Sport Plus here. It takes only 3 seconds. Of course, that is without launch control. It should be noted that there are sequential headlights on the front that wrap around. And on the back, it's just a normal turn signal. Additionally, it should be noted that if you do decide to change the ambient lighting through the settings, interior lighting, color, if you change it to blue, the gauges turn blue and so do all the ambience. Additionally, eye connect also turns blue. Overall, the Ruffier PVA-80 is a better version of the PVA-70, and while it certainly has its quirks and features, I feel like it's a much, much better revision of the PVA-70, and this one is worth a purchase. Down in the description below will be Ruffier's Discord server, and in there, you'll be able to purchase this vehicle when the owner, Adrian, releases it completely. 
Additionally, I will add my Discord server for my car brand in case you want to check that one out as well. Until next time, but remember, if you're not having fun, you're not playing, you're working.